What's up guys, my name's Jonathan, this is my Canon, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of The Canoneer. Now today we've got a subscriber shot special from a new designer to the channel, Mr. Alex Rogers. Now Alex's designs are based on some airfoils, so I'm excited to give you guys a close-up look of what they look like, and then we'll start testing them out of the Canon here to see how effective they are. So before we head on over to the range, and I'll give you guys a close-up look, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and drop down below and hit that subscribe button. I'm sure you guys are going to want to keep up with all the fun stuff that we're going to be shooting with the Canon here and out of the Canon that's going to be coming out in some future videos. And if you guys are interested in maybe sending us some projectiles of your own design like Alex, all the information for the subscriber shot special will be down in the description below. And last but not least, I'd like to take just a quick second to thank the sponsor of today's video, PCB Way, and to show you guys an update on the project that we're working on together. In case you guys didn't know, PCB Way and I recently completed our very first project together, the giant T-Rex slugs. And now it's time for me to show you guys the newest project that we're working on together that you guys selected, our giant Diabolo pellets. So if you'd like to order a custom projectile mold, or if you've got another project that you'd like to bring to life, be sure to check out PCB Way's awesome vast array of services that you can take advantage of to help bring your project from just a design on paper to a prototype to a product that you can sell to consumers or use for your own project. PCB Way is your one-stop shop to help bring all of your projects to life. They have services like 3D printing, CNC work, sheet metal fabrication, laser engraving, and they now offer full color printing and their specialty printed circuit boards. So if you're in need of any of PCB Way services, be sure to check them out using my link in the pinned comment as well as the description below. So far, I've used their CNC as well as their 3D printing services, and I've been incredibly impressed with both, and I think you guys will be too. So be sure to keep PCB Way in mind for your next project, and now back to today's video. Okay, y'all, we got another subscriber shot special today by Mr. Alex Rogers. These are airfoils. He had these printed for us and sent to us. They're printed in nylon. His intention is to have zero rotation when these come out of the cannon barrel. So we're going to put a couple of wads behind it to make sure that the pressure keeps everything together and they're going to be shot out. Everything stays together. So we'll load them up and see what happens with these out of the cannon. So we're shooting this today with about a one inch pool noodle wad behind it, 400 grains of black powder. And as you can see, we're loading it with that little ring facing forward so it'll catch the wind and hopefully fly straight without any rotation in it. Here, so I'm going to bring it up to you guys and show you all what it looks like. It looks like it's still intact. And it looks like it's still in one piece. So we can test this out again, see if we can bring it up a little closer and see what we can do with these. Okay, guys, we've got another one of Alex's airfoils loaded up. We're at about 15, 20 yards or so. Let's see what it does with this one. Okay, y'all, here's that record up close. It looks like that uh, airfoil went right through here, left a nice, beautiful hole. So I'm excited to check out on the high-speed camera what that looks like. If it flew straight in, it looks like it probably did. I don't know if it went through the back of that thing. I can't see, or maybe it just went through an existing hole on our hood. But let's load up another one, put another target out there, and see what happens. It looks like 25 yards, maybe 15 yards is about our sweet spot for these. So let's see what happens with our next target. Okay guys, here's airfoil number three. Technically this is the second one. We shot that first one twice. So let's see what happens against this grape soda bottle.
Let's see if we can hit it this time. And let's see if third time's the charm. A quick shout out to Varden's Body Shop for helping us out with our backstops and Uncle Tommy for letting us use his range. Okay, y'all, we hit it with that one. So let's go take a look and see what the damage is. I can see a piece, ooh, smells like grape soda. There's a piece of one of them. There's a couple of pieces on the ground. You can see where they shattered. We'll pick all this up. There's another half of one. There's a big dent where one of them hit. I can see the circle right there. And the carnage to our Coke bottle. That stuff smells awful. And no pieces on the back that I can see off the top of my head, just real easy. So those are pretty cool. They don't fly super far, and they're not super predictable, but they are pretty fun to play with. So, there you go, guys. Okay, guys, y'all have asked me for some ballistic shell. So we got some ballistic shell. We got one of our airfoils loaded up. Let's see what it'll do against this ballistic shell. I'm hoping it'll leave a nice little hole in the middle, but who knows? Maybe we won't hit it at all. Let's find out. Okay, y'all, we're up here at the gel. I know we hit it. There's the entrance wound. You can see where it went in right there. Here's the part of the pellet. You can see in there where it got caught. It wasn't black from the powder burn. But it went in maybe about two or three inches, maybe about two inches or so into our ballistics gel. But it didn't fly nice and straight. There's the remnants of the pellet from the inside. So there you go. Again, some ballistics gel. I'm excited to look like what, see what that looks like on our high-speed camera. So guys, the more I dig around in here, the more fragments I'm pulling out of this ballistics gel of just pieces of plastic. So that would not be fun to get hit with because it would just sit in these little sharp pieces of plastic all throughout you. So cool design. Well guys, that was a fun one, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I think his airfoils are pretty effective given the fact that they're hollow and they're pretty light, but be sure to let me know what you guys think down in the comments about how his airfoils performed out of the cannon here. So thanks again guys for hanging out till the end here. I really appreciate you hanging out. If you did enjoy this video, go ahead and hit that like button. It's really going to help us get this video out into the world of YouTube. Thanks again to Alex for sending us some designs of your own. I really appreciate it. They seem to be pretty effective out of the cannon here. Thanks again to PCB Way for sponsoring this video. My name's Jonathan, this is my Canon, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode of The Cannoneer.